What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. I hope everybody loves the tunes tonight. These are the stream jams brought to you by Twitch's royalty himself, Lord Val Gaming. Giving him a big shout out. We absolutely love these songs. That song you just heard was called Spider Overload. And I'm not upset at all the fact that he named it after me and he will tell you the same because he is absolutely amazing definitely go check out lvg guys we are going to get started in just a second and what my cypher coming in with that resub thank you so much early on and i'm gonna have to change the goal we are now one out of the ten you know what let's just get started guys screw it how is everyone doing tonight Welcome, welcome everyone back. I hope everybody's having a good week so far. Uh, today, we are switching things up, but before we do, again, Cypher, thank you so much for subbing. I really appreciate that. What is up, Senpai? Uh, I know the goal says zero, but we are now one out of ten for the evening, so yeah. <laughs> it's warm here. To it is warm here, too. It was like 70 today or something like that. So I'm, I'm really excited about tonight's stream. Um... We're not playing Destiny. This, 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 is, this is exciting to me. This is what my life has become. This is exciting. So, <laughs> But I hope everybody is having a great, great day. I hope everybody's week is going fantastic. Um, what we are going to do tonight is we are going to do... I don't want to call it a review. I don't. Uh, it's not really a review. I haven't had time to actually hands-on use it. I am going to be opening and just giving my first thoughts and setting it up with you guys live um, tonight. Uh, the Backbone 1. Uh, it is... Supposedly, it's for iPhone, and it is to turn your iPhone into a gaming system. Now... Yeah, a little backstory on this. Um, before we get into it, I do just want to let you guys know we have a little bit of a goal other than the sub goal tonight, and that is that we are trying to get to 100 subscribers on YouTube, mainly because I want to change my URL to actually say Spider Almighty. So guys, the link is in the chat. If you could, please click on the link, shoot me that follow. That's all I need just to get to that 100 mark so I can switch my URL from ucmq8zy you get the idea so there it is guys i'll be putting it throughout the night definitely think about chalking uh stopping by i don't have much uploaded yet but if i could change my name to spider almighty on there i may put more up there so i appreciate that guys so a little backstory on this so um you know you see something on the internet and the next thing you know what's popping up on every one of your news feeds on your phone that's just the world we live in at this point and uh, no, thanks, Duchess. I appreciate that. <laughs> Always there to support. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> so pretty much um, I checked this thing out as a Kickstarter at first, I believe. And I thought it was cool. I was like, OK, but I had every other system. I still have everybody's system had a switch. It really just kind of looked like it was a switch. I was like, I don't need this. I don't need this. Um, then I started seeing it again and again. <laughs> What's up, sugar mama? <clears throat> so I don't know if I'm blocked. That that's good. <laughs> so pretty much um thanks Tom. Appreciate that, brother. Uh so I was looking at it, watching it, and again, I had no need for it, so I didn't buy it. Price the price was right. Retails for about a hundred dollars right now, which is, you know, a fair price. But I've seen them all over the place, really wasn't into it. So I just, you know, didn't buy it. But you know. Once you click on something once, it's just going to po constantly pop up in your feed. So it was popping up for months. Guys, I'm telling you, months and months and months and months. At one point, I must have looked at this thing so much, and it was popping up in my feed so much. Lisa told me it was popping up on her feed. And I have no idea how to how that happened at all. So <clears throat> she was asking me, like, what is this? And I told her what it was. And she's like, oh, you should get that. I said, I really don't see a need for it. I don't. She goes, oh, but you can, you know, when you go to work, I was like, I have my Nintendo Switch to bring me to work. Yeah, model employee. So, um, <clears throat> other than that, uh, I really didn't need need for it. But the angel that she is surprised me and bought it for me without me knowing. So, we got it now. And I watched the video again. Again, I'm sitting there going, I don't know if I would use this, but now I'm curious. Now I'm a little curious to see how this is going to pan out and 
I'm happy because I get to open it up right now. I did take the plastic off because it was a pain in the ass, but I am going to open it up. I have not looked in the box yet. First time she got me the backbone one and I'm going to show you what this is. Sugar mom, you're going to get a kick out of it, Tom. So <laughs> anyway, the, we're going to cut to it. I have a screen set up for it, which is a little different. You're actually going to see it hands on. I'm not going to just be going like this. Um, and we're going to check this out. We're going to kind of go through this, maybe set it up for the first time, see what it can do. Um, I also have with me tonight Duchess and Beard Lizard. Beard's going to help me out with this as well. He actually did some research on this as well. So he will be here as well. And we're going to go through this. And then after that... We are going to set sail and play some Sea of Thieves because I need to relax. So let me get them in here right now. <clears throat> hey, guys, can you hear me? Hello. I hear myself on one of your mics. <laughs> Duchess. I couldn't hear there you, go. you. I had to turn you up. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> hey, Edge, what's going on, brother? <clears throat> My God. Okay, so... um. I, well, now that I know that you were listening to me, so you know what's about to happen. So, fine. Um, we are going to yeah. switch over to the next screen. Beard, you said you were looking up the videos and everything like this as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I've, uh, yeah, I did some snooping around in the, uh, the website. Okay. Pretty interesting. All right. Well, we're going to check this out. Like I said, guys, this is by no means uh, at all a actual review as of yet. I'm opening it and checking this out. I'm going to set it up and... We'll take a quick look at it and then give me a week. And by next week, I'll actually do an actual review. I'll give my first thoughts tonight, but we'll see exactly. Uh, I have a couple of tests that I could do really quick with it. So we're going we're gonna to see what we could do. So let's uh, check this out. I'm going to move over to the screen right now. And as you can see, here it is. This is the Backbone <clears throat> uh, made by Backbone Labs, apparently out of Vancouver. Um, this was released last year, I believe, in 2020. Um, probably a perfect timing to release something like this. And we got a prop unboxing. Yes. So uh, the plastic is off already because this thing was vacuum fucking sealed. And I'm like, this is fucking absurd. But nevertheless, get, right? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> apparently, like I said, it is supposed to turn your iPhone into a gaming system. Right, exactly. It looks like the PSP would switch controllers. So I did think of that as well. Um, and I was going to do a comparison in sizing uh, with my PS Vita if I knew what the fuck it was. Um, so I cannot do that, but I will upload pictures and we will figure that out at some point. Um, but I do have my Nintendo Switch here for a comparison in sizes. So we are, we're going to figure this out. You know, we are going to see if this, you know, what all the fuss is about on this thing. So. Um, this thing actually opened over here. It was like a wrap box on the inside. Um, had something here. Play solo, play with friends, play with your arch nemesis, play with your grandma, play with your brother, play with your boss, play with your neighbors, play with your crush, play with your long... Why would you cut it off there? What the fuck? <laughs> Play with your long. Okay. Well, I guess they're just going to, you know, let us fill in the blanks there. Play with your long. That was the end of that one. I guess long backbone, I guess we'll say. Play with your long. That was literally the end of it. I don't know why. You could have just left it off and play with your neighbors. But this is... Uh, <laughs> thanks, backbone. Appreciate it. By the way, I am not affiliated or sponsored by backbone whatsoever. I am just a curious consumer that has a awesome wife that said I need something like this. Apparently every other gaming system I have was not enough and I'm okay with that. So, uh, <laughs> at this point we are going to check it out. Just pops open like this and first look. Snap in game on. You know what? That actually that actually doesn't look half bad. Let's take this thing out. Right? Okay, so you see this? Yeah, we. I'm actually going to hold it up to the screen and read it on the screen. No, I'm not. So let's check this out. 
Line up your phone with the Backbone's lightning connector. Grab the left hand and extend it. Uh, snap your phone in. Download app and play. Okay, easy. One, two, three. Um, so I've seen uh, devices like this in the past. I've actually had devices like this in the past. So <clears throat> I, I, I know they're telling you to put it in the lightning cable first and then extend it out. I... I've seen and heard nightmares about doing that where you'll bend the lightning connector or you will actually just mess up the actual connector. And you're talking about using your phone here. So <clears throat> what I ended up doing is I'm actually not going to use my actual phone. I'm going to use a older iPhone that I have, which is larger sized as well, uh, because I wanted to see exactly how big of an iPhone you can use in this because iPhones come in all different sizes anyway. So increase <laughs> play with your long. We are going to have a lot of laughs about that. Um, that is my phone. Uh, yeah, we're talking about the seven plus. This is a, a rather large phone. So this is what we're going to use. Um, <clears throat> I think I have it hooked up to Wi-Fi, so it should be fine. Um, I will say this is it feels good. Now, the thing is, is that it feels good in my hand, but it's not going to be at this size, obviously, because it's together right now. And it does extend out uh, pretty easily, actually. It does exp extend out. It does have the lightning connector. Um, just by a quick look, they obviously backbone one. They're going off of Xbox. It is set up like an Xbox controller, which I do like a lot. So a lot of, of these competitors out there are the ones that I've seen before, but they will, Jesus fucking Christ. Right, Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the pits, bud. <clears throat> so dirty. Um, so, uh, what would happen is they would have you download an app or a program that they had associated with it, and you would actually have to map out the buttons. So, for instance, if you're playing a game on your iPhone and you have the touch commands and touch here to go here, blah, 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 blah. They would actually have you map it out. You would actually take a screenshot of your game screen, say, and then it would actually have you map out where you had to put what. I fucking hated that, and I returned that immediately. Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's clean the screen a little bit. I think I have something I can see to clean the screen. I just I am partnered with them, by the way. So anyway, um, anyway, we're gonna clean the screen a little quickly. Perfect. <clears throat> So, uh, this is good. This, this feels good. The triggers feel really, really good on it. Um, but we are going to try this out. Let's uh, turn the phone on. Put a battery in this phone. How funny would that be? I didn't charge the phone. <laughs> Lord help me if I didn't charge this fucking phone. Okay, I charged the phone. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious, right? <clears throat> It's like, yeah, after we stream tonight, we send video to Tomadon to edit and clip this shit out. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Oh, no, Sugar Mama, do you have an Android? <clears throat> yeah, I was oh. going to ask you, can you, um, can you have Androids with this? Uh, it no, it's, it's literally, if you look at the screen, it literally has a, I mean, I wonder if you use an adapter. I don't know, because... We're going to find out. It does say you have to put, download the app. So, and I actually That's did, um, I did download the app, but I didn't set the app up yet. So, well, the app was in the app store. So, <clears throat> there is a Backbone app. Uh, like I said, they want you to, I Googled iPhones only. Okay. What's up, Casey? <clears throat> so they want you to put it in lightning cable first and then extend out again like i said previously i don't like doing that for fear of actually breaking the connector i don't do that at all so i'm gonna do it the other way what is this I'm getting notifications um, yes also i mean if you have an ipad it looks like it extends for an ipad as well so i mean it could um, yeah, that, you actually that. no it can't so and i'll tell you why so there are grooves down here that kind of stop the phone, which I'm guessing when you have the phone in here, it's going to sit on the bottom. So the I iPad may go past that. It may uh, okay. wiggle out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because it would have to line up with the actual lightning cable, so it may not work right. that way. Um, 
<clears throat> so let's see. Like I said, I don't believe in doing it that way first because I don't want to break the connector. So I'm going to just put it in the other way first. So this way, and then I will extend it outward first, and then like that. Okay, and the screen turns also. That's another reason I wanted to use this versus my phone. So I have a newer iPhone. And one of the things they changed on the newer iPhone is that on your home screen, if you just go like this, you see how my apps now go this way? They don't do that on the newer iPhone anymore. I think it's ridiculous that that was a feature they got rid of. It's annoying since I use my phone in the car and it's always like this in the holder and this way it's so much easier to do whatever, but they stopped doing it. So for whatever reason, they thought it was a good idea. Um, so <clears throat> what they were saying was originally what you would have to do is once you plug the phone in, you would press the backbone button here and it would take you to download the app. We had just downloaded the app already, so we could skip that. But I do want to see if we press it again, if it's just going to load the app, which would be pretty fucking cool. So we're gonna, it's going to load the app. OK, OK, that's actually pretty cool. All right. Get a good. Okay. So it is telling us to press A to continue. Uh, continue with the Apple ID. All right, let's just. It's fine. Uh, not going to use our one here. So we'll just set it up as Spider Almighty. We're just sent. Sign in. <clears throat> okay. Find friends. We can skip that. Okay. Good, good. Okay, so we skip friends with X. I guess you could find it does have its own uh, like Xbox Live sort of thing in here. Uh, I read up on. So I'm guessing that's what they meant by find your friends. So if you purchase the backbone, you can actually other people that have the backbone you can have your own little friends. Backbone. Yeah, and I, next. Also, Go ahead. I also saw that it was um, you can link this to your Apple Arcade. Yes. Um, and whatever other sites that you typically would actually game on on your phone. So that's one of the tests I have. Um, not the Apple one per se. One of the tests I'm going to do is because I read up uh, you can do um, Xbox. Now with Project X Cloud yeah, launching sure soon, too, yeah. um, right now the only thing we'd be able to do is do like the second screen, um, which why well, I have the Xbox booted up. But I do have a second test. And I want to see if it works as well on something different. Um, and I did hear a couple of uh, things on Reddit, but again, I didn't want to look too much into it because I didn't want to come in here with too much knowledge on the on the product. I actually yeah, yeah. wanted to see what it was going to come out to be first. So mm -hmm. that that's why I'm kind of I'm doing it in, in this magnitude. So um, so let's see. So we take this. Sorry, getting messages in Discord. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> go to the next one. Okay, so you can be followed by people. We're just going to skip that for now. Notifications. Fernando has started. Okay, so it actually will give you notifications if somebody, I guess, on your friends list is playing a game or whatnot. All right. That's actually pretty cool. Who needs to fix their upper iPad? I mean... Notifications. <laughs> fine. Um, I don't care. We can always share it off. Photos. Share photos. Okay, so I'm guessing that's some sort of a screen capture. That's... Yo, what's going on? <laughs> Thank you so much for that sub. That is going to be sub number two out of our 10 sub goal tonight, guys. We had Cypher sub earlier, but we have to add it onto the starting soon screen. It doesn't count on my subs, but I got mushrooms. Nice, bro. <laughs> that's awesome. Listen, it's okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the sub. I really do. And that makes number two. We got eight to go to hit that sub goal tonight, guys. I'm hoping we get this. 
No, oh, I see, sugar mama, you lurking now because it's not for Android. I get it. Okay, you gotta head home. Can you please? God damn it, Tom. All right, well, sugar mama, you um, get home safe. I will see you when you get home. I I guess we're dancing. Um. I'm done. Imagine if I didn't say I was uploading this on YouTube. Appreciate it, brother. So anyway, <laughs> you're going to have a lot of fucking editing to do later, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to the review. Uh, <laughs> it's 630. Get home safe, sugar mama. I know you're going to be seen when you come home. Damn it, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Chicken what dance? I mean, listen, it... It happened. Let's just move on. So anyway, uh, yeah, so there is a photo thing. I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of screen capture on here, which is pretty cool, too. Um, I want to access my photos. Okay. Whatever. Share great moments. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's, okay. So it's saying the button here. You can record gameplay. Okay. Um. Uh, Oh, I guess I actually have to hold it down. Yeah. Oh. oh, and then you just press it once to take a screenshot. All right, that's actually pretty cool. Again, just an update for everybody that just joined. We are actually doing an unboxing and checking out the Backbone 1. It's supposed to make your iPhone into a gaming system. Actually feels pretty sturdy extended out, too. It's not wobbly or anything like that, which is pretty good. Um, <clears throat> so I actually do like that. Hold, oh, press to do... Okay, so it's press it to record and hold it to the screenshot. Okay. And fun games and support controllers. Okay. Oh, okay. So certain apps on uh, an Apple will actually have a controller icon to tell you if you can use this on. That's pretty cool. Hmm. All right, we're good to go. Press the backbone button anytime to open backbone. Okay. And let's see how this works. And Okay, right off the bat, Xbox Remote Play is the first thing that popped up. That is pretty cool. Use the joystick to move around. Oh, this is this wow. This is incredibly, incredibly responsive. Like incredibly responsive. Like, look. Incredibly responsive. That's really good. Um, all right, so we have Xbox. Yeah, this is really, really feels good. Um I wonder if I no, that doesn't, okay uh, Xbox Remote Play your games all right we don't have anything on yet what's new okay is it just some videos here's Reddit okay <clears throat> trending highlights town okay. recent highlights we don't have any trending games oh we got Minecraft on here oh because Minecraft is in the App Store so that kind of makes sense okay um let's see, let's see. I still want to get too much for a flexional yeah whatever. Okay, so that's what I wanted to see. So apparently we can use this on PS4 as well, Remote Play. And that is actually my second test of the evening. There is Steam Link on here. That's actually what I really wanted to know. That's what I really wanted to know. Oh, shit. Moonlight is on here. I'm going to have a lot of fun with Moonlight. Oh, boy. What else? Brainway, I think that's a. Uh, I think actually that is for Apple. Minecraft. Okay, so this is not bad. Oh, and it gives you suggestions of things you can play. So games with friends, solo games, classic games, Sonic. Okay. And it's giving you links also on the bottom that you can actually. I don't know if it's going to really come out. Um, you can actually, yeah, literally. I mean, that's actually not pre not bad. Oh, we actually have Coder on here, too? Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess we're going to try it on Xbox first. That's, that's very responsive. Like, I am... And like I said, it feels good, too. Um, I guess we're going to try it out. We have our Xbox screen up on here. Um, I guess for the sake of argument, we should try Destiny? I mean, we all know destiny anyway so i mean maybe just give it a 
ch you know, check it out. Let's see uh, what happens. Play, play with uh, Sea of Thieves with us. Oh, I could try loading Sea of Thieves. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Now, what's cool about this also, which I read on here, is that, um, so on the bottom, uh, first of all, they, they claim that it's not going to actually drain a lot of battery life from your phone when using it, which is really good. Um, on the bottom, you do have the three and a half millimeter jack for headset, but I did read that you can pair your um, AirPods, Bluetooth, and it will work with this as well, which is very good. Oh, yeah. Um, and you actually have a lightning cable uh, port under here as well, so you can actually charge this while you're playing it. Now, the device itself does not have uh, a battery. It's actually just a bridge. So it's coming using your phone battery completely. So when you do plug this in, it's going to charge your phone, not just charging up the backbone, which I thought was pretty cool too. Okay, so this Xbox app does not have a switch. Like, so, okay. Um, how are we doing this? It opened Xbox. Share with this. Um, Can you use it as a remote? This is what I'm actually... So you're pairing it with your Xbox as a remote. I'm thinking that's how it can be. That's what I thought I saw as well. So, oh, I see what you're saying. So maybe not as a second screen, but just as a, a remote, a remote troll. Just a remote, yeah. Interesting. I'm just wondering, because I thought I saw that, but I'm not sure. Uh, connect your Xbox one. I don't have an Xbox one. Yeah, this might. Hmm. Right now, I'm just going through here to see. Oh, red. Oh, okay. Can open Game Pass. Oh, Sea of Thieves is on Game Pass, so that might work. Oh, okay. Oh, it actually loaded my... Well, actually, it would be already loaded. Um, just a search. See. Uh, let's see. Good. Play on console. Okay. Install. Why am I installing? Oh. I mean, this is pretty cool. I'm just not sure why. Maybe I need a more updated Xbox app. Mm. Possibly. You know what? Let me check my phone. See, I have a newer. See, I wonder if there's an update for this. Hold on. There might be an update for this app because this is an older app.
Maybe it has to be on the... Let's check it out. Hold on. <clears throat> It's another thing I don't like. You can't have a case on your phone when fitting this in here. It actually has to be without a case at all. Do this. So we are gonna try this again. Trust the here too, maybe. I'm gonna find out. Okay, so it's powered on. Okay, so here, look, this is on a new phone. Okay, so it's actually a new phone thing. I'm going to have to look a little more into um, how to do it on the older phone for Xbox. Um, that's absolutely fine. Uh, let's try... Launch on console. Okay, so now, see, it's giving me a different thing now. So if I launch it on the console, we should see it on the game screen. Um, and I should have it on here too, but now we're going to see, we're going to test out, uh, what me and Beard were saying, if it's literally, I can just use this as a controller and maybe that's what, that's what you were saying, Beard, like this would be the controller yeah, and you're playing on the game. Yeah, I can't find my controller, but I'm just lazy enough just to use it on my phone. <laughs> to start my you're making a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that. I'm actually going to up your voices up a little bit more, too. Duchess, I know you're still in here, too, and you're being an absolute doll. Thank you so much for being here. It's okay. You can ignore me. It's fine. Anyway, so uh, we're going to launch this on here now. Literally just says launch, to con launch on console. So let's give it a shot. Um, I'm not going to touch the screen because I know that would work. I want to use just a controller. So I'm going to hit A. It's going to do absolutely nothing. Oh. I can, oh, oh, look at this. I can navigate. So, all right, I'm going to highlight it and hit A. Do I want to launch this on my Xbox or my Xbox? Oh, that's right. I have two in the house. Okay, so we're going to do it on the X because we're in here. And we're launching to this console. And let's see. So Sea of Thieves did load up on the game screen on stream. Uh, looks like Beard was right. I guess it's not a... Uh... Interesting. It's oh. not just a straight up, uh, it's, I don't know, it's a na more of a universal, not just a native um, controller. That's mm. awesome. That's awesome. That is pretty cool. We all we all know that see if this takes like fucking four years to up. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> That's an expensive controller though. How's that elite controller uh, treating you there, Tom? This was a hundred bucks. <laughs> and I'm hoping um the responsiveness, Krish, honestly, really good. Like, very good. Like Nintendo Switch good. Or Xbox good. That helped. I redeemed the hydrate. Okay, well, I will do that hydrate while we wait for Sea of Thieves to load. And chat, while I'm hydrating, thank you, Tom, for that hydrate, by the way. Uh, don't forget, chat, you're going to hear me say this a couple of times. I am shooting for 100 subs on YouTube so I can change my URL to Spider Almighty. So, guys, if you have a second, please click the link in the chat. Shoot me a follow or subscription, please. I just want to hit 100 so I can change it because I don't want to be YouTube.com channel UCMQ8ZYIP. You guys get the point. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, I like my $170 control, and I'm not knocking it. But, you know, <laughs> smash that sub button. So, and it's cool, too, because subbing on YouTube is not like subbing on Twitch. Subbing on YouTube is free. They, I guess subscribers, subscribers are followers on YouTube. So, so I mean, I've already, um, it is free. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, Tobot. I appreciate it. We're just trying to get to that 100 mark. This way we can do this. And I'm very happy. All right. So we have Sea of Thieves opened. Press any button to continue. Oh. Nice, and I'll send you a a 
invite. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. So I launched it on the screen. What's this one do? Oh, dude. So there was a, okay, so I'm gonna, so on top here, I, I backed out because it, I was trying to get into the game and it wasn't letting me. So back here next to my notification, there is an interesting menu. Xbox console is on. Do I want to remote play on this device? Open remote control. Manage console and games or switch consoles. So I'm going to try the remote. Really? So open remote control. We know what that is. I'm going to try remote play on this device. No fucking way. This is a, this is the X cloud. Dude. Oh my God. And the notification just popped up. That's really cool. Oh my God. This is fucking crazy. Yo, Android, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Same thing, Tobo. Thank you so much, guys. Guys, this is amazing right now. So on my screen is my Xbox, and on the backbone, on the iPhone, I'm actually in Sea of Thieves. And... And I... <laughs> Beard sent me an invite. I don't know. I'll try it. <laughs> so just to let you guys know, screen by screen... Um, yo, Lisa picked out a good, like, let's literally, it's, I guess we're streaming because we're streaming the game. So it's the response time is, you can see it guys. Okay. This is awesome. So you can just turn on your, uh, your stream and just stream from work. <laughs> Don't give me ideas. <laughs> she also picked out a good husband, I guess. I agree with that. <laughs> I'm going to see, can I skip ahead? No. Oh, I can. Oh my God, I can. <gasps> How far can I walk outside? Well, Tom, I'm outside your house right now. And that's Jersey. So if you want, you can let me in. We can figure this out. Can I play Xbox in my bed? So, all right. If this is, so I could be anywhere in the house and do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure that'll be, it's, it's working on the same network. Now, can I play at home uh, from work? Play here? I'm not sure. You so turn on your Xbox, <laughs> right? Because this this device can turn on your Xbox as well because you're doing yeah, it through the app. I think it's a local thing. I don't think you can actually do um, right network type stuff. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. But so that's really the funny. difference. That's the difference between Project X Cloud and what this is now. So right now I'm streaming from the Xbox to here. So in situations where it's like, uh, Jesus, Krisha, thank you so much for that. We're going to have a lot of editing to do later. <laughs> so for situations where it's like, oh, you know, someone's watching a movie, you could just have the Xbox on the other room and just, you know, play your game. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But with X Cloud. You would be able to. Um, are you familiar with Steam Link? Um, I, yeah, I know Tom. of it. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate the bits, bro. Uh, you said you love it, or no? I uh, no, I know a little bit of it. Okay, so oh, I wow. I actually do use Steam Link a lot. Uh, what I do is while I'm at work, I remote using Steam Link remote into my home PC here and load up any of my Steam games and play them at work on my computer. Um, it doesn't it doesn't tax anything on the computer you're playing on because the game and everything is running on the computer at home. So my work computer, I can't install games on or anything like that. It'll fucking crash. But my rig here will run it and then I could just stream it onto my work computer and play. And it works flawlessly. Really good. Um, I'm hoping that's going to be the same outcome on here. Uh, now, here's the thing I don't know. I don't have an Xbox button on here. So I'm not sure how... I, oh, wait. Wait a minute. Maybe I do have an Xbox button on here. Oh, my God. I do have an Xbox button on here. <laughs> oh, my God. If I do the... Okay. Beard and... Beard Lizard just invited me, chat, to play Sea of Thieves. I'm going to attempt to accept it 
You are joining the game. Do you want to continue? I do want to continue. They're set to play on Xbox controller. We oh my god. <laughs> Spidey live from the couch, my man. <laughs> yeah. Oh my go. god. Woof. Dude, remember those days when I'm like, oh, my chair is too comfortable. I don't want to get up and stream. <laughs> no more, baby. No more. <laughs> Uh, Lisa's gonna love you now. Oh my god, we're gonna start it <laughs> off right and be like, This is Microsoft Radio coming to you, Xbox Live from my comfy chair in the living room. I am Spider Almighty, and joining me tonight is Beard Lizard. Beard, say hello to everybody. <laughs> hello, everyone. There we go. What's up, sissy? Also, also Lisa from the other side of the couch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fucking crazy. Oh my god. Sissy! Yeah, sissy, this is the backbone one. Uh, it's supposed to turn your iPhone into a gaming device. It is extremely responsive. It is absolutely great. We just found out, I just loaded my Xbox up on my iPhone, and the screen here is my Xbox on stream, and it's actually playing on the phone at the same time. I We just attempted to join. Beard sent me an invite in Sea of Thieves. We're trying to join his game. We may be pushing the limit slightly right now, but <laughs> I want to see if it just loads me into the game. I'm going to be happy. I don't know how taxing it's going to be because it is on the phone. Like it's it's taking a little bit to load, but I'm not sure. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're in chat. We are embarking on this adventure together, so we're going to figure this out. Oh, there you are. Um, so I am currently in the game. <laughs> and just to show you a side by side, I am. And there is Beard. Wow, this is actually really response. OK, so first first thing, first thoughts, I would have to go into the settings and play with the. Um, the sensitivity a little bit, but I am. Hmm. That is really cool, though. This is incredibly cool. Um, we have our sword out, and you guys, kind of. Uh, if you could see the side by side chat, very responsive, very, very responsive. Like, um, no skellies around. No, no skill right. Well, You're I figured I would just try sniping something. I mean, I am I am very impressed. I am very impressed by this. Very responsive. That is crazy. Sissy, thank you so much for the hydrate. I appreciate it. And if I said it before, thank you guys so much. We are two subs out of our daily sub goal of oh, no. 10. Thank you so much. What the hell happened? Oh, no. What did I do? There was a one in a million shot. I shot my shotgun. Oh, my God. At the ship, and it hit the barrel on top of the crow's nest. I, ah. What the hell happened? <laughs> one of my BBs hit it. Oh, my God. How did he... I forgot how to... <laughs> oh, the bucket. Here we go. Wow. Just extremely responsive right now. That is insane. Wow, that is insane. What the... There is no lag on here. I am very, sh very surprised. I am trying to repair this right now. That is crazy. Wow. Wow and wow. Okay. All right. Um, 10 out of 10 on, uh, on the Xbox connection. Like I said, when xCloud fully launches, I do want to test it to see exactly if I can do this at, well, at a location, um, mm -hmm. which would be fantastic. But in the interest of moving forward, I am going to leave this party. 
How do we do so? Can you just flip to just shut that down? Well, no, that's what I'm going to. Well, what I'm doing is I'm going to leave this game. Ah, uh, hmm. I see what you're saying. You, Stay in the game and just leave the app. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, they have the yeah, menu just... button. I wonder if I could just. Yes, I can. Perfect. Ah. And it's telling me my, my controller's bad. disconnected. And we are that's, back at the menu now. That's awesome. So it's using the it, I mean, it's streaming off of the Xbox. So I guess it's just second screening it, really. Yeah, that's basically what it looks like it does. Yeah. That's, that's primarily what it's doing. Now, what we're going to do is I'm very excited. I'm trying out Steam Link. Um, this is my real test, guys. So if Steam Link works like it usually does for me, um, this is going to be a home fucking run for me because I'll just launch it where I can launch Steam Link at work and it'll just play with my Steam games off of here. And yes, Krisha, that includes Left 4 Dead, hopefully. So, you know what? It, it loaded right up <clears throat> and it connected right away to my, uh, my PC here, so... You know what? It it loaded it right away. Yeah, I'd be really surprised if it's. I wonder again if it's a local LAN or a WAN style um, connection. So like you're actually playing on your phone, or are you using your computer as the CPU, whatever else? But it's just streaming it to your phone. So that's what Steam Link does. It will stream the game. It's not playing the game on the phone. Okay. It's playing it on your PC. So like right that's now, the case. Yes, um, that would actually work. Right. So right now, like on my screen, you guys can't see it on this one until I load a game up. But I'm looking over and it actually just accessed the, uh, accessed my Steam account. My Steam is open right now. Um, and like I said, just for the sake of argument, I am going to just load up Destiny. Because this is oh, yeah. primarily what I do play at work. I mean, you know, not play at work. I mean, this is primarily... I just, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, we will just edit Ooh, that right. out later. So, yeah, definitely <laughs> join the YouTube, guys. Yeah, don't forget to uh, shoot me a follow on YouTube. <laughs> um, we are going to try loading up. And for those of you just joining in, this is the Backbone 1. Um, we just got this uh, yesterday. We unboxed it just uh, about an hour ago, give or take. Uh, we already tried it out... Um, we already tried it out with the Xbox. It worked very well. We were able to join in an online Sea of Thieves game, so great. Um, Destiny 2, I'll, I'll play for fun. Well, I'll... Anyway, moving on. <laughs> we're going to load up Destiny now and see what happens. It says it's launching. Now, mind you, chat, I'm not really sure what's going to happen here because I didn't really think about this while I was streaming. So usually when I use Steam Link at work, nothing really is open except my, you know, a browser or two or whatnot. So I'm not even sure of which screen this is going to pop up on. It says it's running. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, so as you can see on stream, Destiny just opened up in Steam, and it's actually on my phone also. That is actually pretty cool. Um, that is actually really cool. So, again, the response time is fantastic on this. It really is. The shader system revamp, but we knew about that upcoming. I'm already on my character screen. I will just load up my Titan. Actually, I'll load, uh, yeah, load up the Titan right now. I really, it doesn't matter. I'm not really going to be doing much, but. Yes, thank you so much, Krisha. I really, really appreciate it. Yes, every single follow possible on YouTube will get me to that golden goal of 100 subscribers on YouTube, mainly because I need to change my URL. I'm told that I cannot do it until I hit 100 subscribers, and I don't want to have it say anything but Spider Almighty on it. <laughs> Go see like Spider. So, double ordeal rewards. 
Okay, so we're in orbit right now. We are in orbit right now. And I know it's hard to tell because the camera is on the phone and everything, but the graphics on the phone are what you're seeing on the screen, not here, but here. Because I'm on an iPhone. Uh, this is an 11 Pro, I believe. Um, so the graphics are there. It's, you know, it's not shortchanging it by any means necessary. And that was fast as fucking hell, right? So, okay, big test. This is the one thing I have. Um, I did see something come up and said that the, it did configure over to Destiny controller. So anybody that plays it on Xbox knows that this is your start and this is your back button. So this would bring up my character screen. This would pick up my, uh, what would it be, the director. So I'm going to see if it actually does do that on here. There we go. It actually remapped the buttons to the Xbox. So this is actually this is uh, Destiny 2 on Steam. So this is this is Destiny 2 PC. This is not on Xbox or PS5 or anything else. This is PC and it remapped the buttons according to I'm guessing Xbox, which I'll know as soon as I turn it on. But well, then again, if it was Xbox or, or PlayStation, it would technically be the same button layout. But on PC, mouse and keyboard, no, but it, I guess, put it right to there. But I want to see if I can go to my map now by hitting the back button, and I loaded it right up. So, uh, chat, what do you think? Should we load up the tower, or should we just go somewhere and try to shoot things to really push to see how good it goes? What do you think, Beard? Um, I'll just go to Earth and start shooting things. Go to Cosmodrome? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> And it is very, very responsive. Everybody's been asking. <clears throat> and I thought you weren't coming back, Sugar Mama. I would have never thought that in a million years. I thank you so much for coming back. Just to give you guys an idea of what we're doing here. Crucible? I mean, I don't want to play Crucible even if I wasn't playing on the phone. So <laughs> I am so burnt out from Destiny. The only reason I'm doing this is just because I, I know what I would need to do. Gambit? I could have loaded up Gambit. Gambit on PC sometimes is hard to, hard to find things, though. And have my dinner. No problem. Oh, you're having your dinner now? Okay, so we're in here, and... Let's see if I show you like this. This is the first time I'm doing a review or first look like this, so this layout will probably change. I'm noticing very quickly that having the camera over here and having my mic way over there is causing me to go like this a lot. Like my hands are here and my head is back here. So we're going to have to fix that out later. <laughs> so let's test this out. We're on the Cosmodrome right now. I'm actually going to, in order to see what's going on here, I'm going to play it on the phone while you guys watch it on screen. And it is picking up. So, okay, change my weapon. Oh my god, my loadout. All right. So, okay, right away, the one thing I can tell you right, uh, right off the bat is that it is smaller, obviously, than playing on a bigger screen. So I'd actually have to take my time to see what I'm looking at, stuff like that, which is fine. Let's get something a more precise. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so very, very responsive. Very, very responsive. Hmm. I just want to see once we get into a battle how it's going to handle it. Oh, wow. Wow. See, right now, I could, the only thing I could say, that the sensitivity, I would have to just adjust it. But that, that's fine.
I mean, one thing is that we kind of loaded up in an area where there wasn't a lot of... Let's do some spower running. I mean, Beard, what do you think? Like, this is running extremely well on my end. I, I am pleasantly impressed with... Right? Not only the controller, but also the other um, aspects of um, being able to play a game either, well, via basically screen share. Yeah. Um, but also, I mean, I think it's that's just amazing. This is really, I mean, let us. I'm just playing, and it's not freezing at all. I want to see if this will work. Oh, my God. Oh. And I got some laurels? What? Dude, this is crazy right now. Yo, Vaughn, what's going on, baby? Vaughn, we are reviewing right now. This is the Backbone 1. Uh, it's to turn your iPhone into a legitimate gaming device, and it's literally that. We've tested out with Xbox, and we are now testing out with Steam Link. This is actively playing Destiny 2. Um, I have just by the the sheer like smoothness of this, I have no I, I, I have no doubt in my mind this will not run this will definitely run Fortnite. We tried Sea of Thieves. Like I said, this is just a sensitivity thing. Well, I am missing shots right now. I gotta like adjust that, but Oh you know what? This is the test. That is incredibly responsive, chat. This is absolutely gorgeous. And just a reminder, guys, like I said, we are boosting the YouTube tonight. Definitely click on the link. Definitely click on the sub button. We are also currently two subs out of our 10 sub goal for the evening. We are reviewing, well, first looking at the Backbone 1. Uh, made by Backbone Labs, and I am a fan. This is fantastic. Like I said, we had to use my new phone. Um, I am going to do some twerking. Uh, did I say twerking? I might have yeah. said twerking. Yeah, We're going to twerk the old one, and by twerk we mean tweak, um, <laughs> to try to find out uh, what the difference is. Um, in the event that I can't, because there is a chance that I can't load the Xbox, the newer Xboxes on the older phone. There's a chance of that. It could just be a newer app. Um, but Steam Link, I used to run fine on that. So I'm very, very curious if that's going to work at all on the older phone. And I will let everybody know. But as far as this goes, I mean, again, this is extremely responsive. Like, what's this? Oh, wow. Oh, I even have a... Wow, it brought up a... That's pretty cool. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so that, that could be something. Let's see if I, if I just hold it down. Okay, so that's that's interesting. That's not, not a problem. Oh, but. So, you know when you return to orbit, you hold down back and hit Y? Mm -hmm. So if you notice, it's actually on my screen. It's whole, it brings up Steam's, um, Steam's menu when you do that, when you hold down Y. Uh, not, oh, yeah. a, not a big problem, really, but again, when you think about what we're actually doing here, it's, it's, not, a, it, it's not really bad. Um, I could right, probably just yeah. go back to here and then just figure out here how to go to orbit if I had to. I could, oh, I could just literally just go somewhere else if I want to. And just go to destinations or something. Just like load the tower, say for instance. And it'll take me right there. Yeah, so it's gonna take me right to the tower anyway. Am I gonna actually stream at some point? Wow. Jesus. That that's some Missouri fucking attitude over there, isn't it? <laughs> Good God. Whew. Jesus. Uh... What's up, Duke? Dude, this is the backbone one, and I feel like if you had one of these devices right now, you'd be a little less bitchy. So, um, I would... <laughs> Subway. <laughs> Case. 
No, this is Duke. You missed it. We loaded Sea of Thieves on here, and I joined Beard's game on the fucking phone. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It was fucking really good. I was very, like I said, pleasantly surprised. We're in the tower right now. Just, just very, like I said, pleasantly surprised on this whole thing. And it's not lagging at all. Like, at all. Not even a little bit. This thing lag. Uh, well, unfortunately, he's not an Apple guy, so he can't use it. Oh, well. It's alright. I don't know what I'm going to do with him, but... <laughs> so... Trust me, okay, I have so, no idea. <laughs> Steam, okay, so with Steam, though, I would just have to go to the power button, and I would have to just turn it off from here, which is absolutely fine. Stop streaming. And it just takes me out of Steam Link, which is absolutely fair. Then we just go back to start, and here we go. Like I said, absolutely responsive on here. This is absolutely amazing. No problem, Krish. Is he though? Listen, guy. Don't need your shit right now. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, I did notice I have to do this, though. So it should get us back into the game. Yeah, so now we're back in the game. So I did realize that I have to... When leaving Steam, I have to stop the game first. And then I have to exit out, which is, again, absolutely fine. Um, I wonder if it will let me exit the whole thing out, actually. Oh, well. Stop it. Perfect. Well, that is it. That that exceeded my expectations for sure on this whole thing. That was yeah, me too. Really good. That was really good. Um, there are other apps on here too. Like I have PS4 Remote Play. Not sure about PS5 compatibility as of yet. Um, and Rainway I want to look into. And Moonlight. Moonlight is going to be good. That means I can load a lot of retro stuff on here too. I have Moonlight on my Vita, and it has a lot of good capabilities on that, so I wonder if I can... Uh, this is going to be a project for me. I wonder if I can get Nintendo games to play on here. And Moonlight would be the way for me to do that. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, but... All right, chat. Like I said, this is the Backbone one, okay? I will put a link in the chat for anybody that is interested in the Backbone one. And by doing that, I am going to Google it and put a link in the chat. Like I said, guys, this is this. This is well, you know what? Beard, what do you think? What are your thoughts right now? Well, I I don't know. I, I like the idea of being able to play your games anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um <clears throat> I personally have not done that, um, only because I'm addicted. Um, but <laughs> on the other hand, it's a I, it's a really cool technology that they have um, hammered out. Um, the ability to screen share other computers has been around for a long time, but <laughs> games like that have not. Um, so that's been a very interesting, um, I don't know, aspect. That's really cool. I think this was really, really good. I, I definitely, I recommend it. I do. If I can get this working with my older phone, it would be even better. Only because then I don't have to be at the mercy of having my phone connected to something. And, you know, someone calling you, it's like, oh, shit, hello. Like, I don't have to worry about that. I mean, exactly. I would have an older phone hooked up and then I could just have my phone at my leisure. But I am, I'm very, very surprised. And I, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, Cabals, this is, again, the backbone one. I put the link in the chat, guys. Definitely check it out. Retails at uh, $99.99, $100. Uh, gift from my bride. So um, I, I I, probably would have got this myself. I really would have. I mean, this was this is fantastic. Um, 
and it does have its own okay so yeah you know what it does have its own menu in here find friends so i guess if you have a backbone yourself you can actually do that um the next thing i'm gonna want to look into is see if i could run um more fast-paced games like fortnite and what's up you know I'd say it's definitely worth it. And Cabals, you're an iPhone guy as well. Sissy, you as well are into, uh, have an iPhone also. This is definitely, definitely something to look into. This is really good. Um, and like I said, it feels really good. It's not, it, they don't, the buttons don't stick. They don't, the only thing I would do is say um, the thumbsticks are smaller than what you would be used to. You know what? Maybe mm -hmm. not. Maybe not. Because they actually resemble the size of a Nintendo Switch. But the Xboxes are bigger. And PS4, 5, whatever, obviously also bigger. So before we get done with the Backbone, I do want to show you guys a comparison really quick uh, to my Nintendo Switch. So this is my Switch. Uh, with the controllers on, which I would, you know, play or anybody would play handheld. Uh, Switch Lite would be smaller, but Sugar Mama would be able to tell me that because I know she has a Switch Lite. And then this would be, let's see if we get it closer to here. So this is in comparison what we're looking at in size-wise. So not terrible. Not terrible. Okay. Again, this has more curvature to it, and it feels better than playing on the Switch. Uh, mainly because, and most people have said before, you know, just holding it like, you know, it, it feels a little awkward playing and holding it like that. If you played it as much as I have or Sugar Mom has, it's, you know, again, it's a uh, get used to it. But just the back of this, it, it the grooves on here, it's just really, really good. Um, and the fact that you can link up, it has Bluetooth on it because it's really using your your phone. So you can link your AirPods up to it or any Bluetooth that you have up to it as well. Um, if not, you can pl plug in your three and a half millimeter. Um, it's really good. Like I said, responsive as hell. So, by the way, that shaking is just me going back and forth. That's not it jiggling. This is me doing it as fast as I can. That's, I'm, yeah. Amazing. I, I, I am definitely happy with this purchase. I am going to be using it a lot more. Uh, there will be more of a, a review in about a week. I'll come back and I'll talk more about it for a little bit. It's close to the Switch Lite. Yeah, see, that's what I figured. Switch, the light's a little bit smaller than the original. So, um, yeah, this is this was a home run. This, this really was good. Um, and then just to get out of it, just get out of it. That That is really good. Like I said, I don't recommend... Um, Putting in lightning cable first. Um, see, so just taking it out if it's. Oh no, it's actually fairly simple to take it out. And I'm of course my phone's freaking dirty as well. Hell. Uh, and I got news for you. Um, as far as battery life, I mean, we loaded up Sea of Thieves, we loaded up Destiny. Um, we were playing around with it for a, a little bit. Um, let's just see. Uh, on my phone right now. I'm at, I think I had 62% battery at one point. I think when I came home tonight or started before, it didn't, su we're at 59. I also have my brightness all the way up. I have everything, you know, my phone's always by a charger, so I never really worry about that. But um, I'm sure if you're a little bit more power saving and whatnot. But again, like I said before, it doesn't really make a difference because if you're running low on battery, you can always plug in right here with your lightning cable. Now, also, like I said also before, there is no internal battery in here. This is literally just the device. This is a bridge from controller to your phone. So if you plug it in here, it's charging your phone. If I had a plug, I'd show you here, but I don't. Um, but that's it. That is the Backbone 1. Um... I am going to try it on my iPad because now, Beard, you got me thinking about that. Um, I can I mean, guarantee maybe, it's not going to fit a bigger one. I can maybe an iPad mini or an Air. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, the mini or the Air. Right. Maybe. I am going to try that out, though. Um, it, it does... See, the th here's the thing. So when you extend this all the way out, you can feel it's at its max. Like, when uh -huh. it's at its max, there's no wedging it in. If I if I if I try to get a little bit more room out of it, I'm breaking this. I get it. Um, mm -hmm. So.
So I would I would just size it out first, and I would see if it's going to fit. And if it's not, I'm not even going to push it. But um, yeah. all it in all, like it was, it just looked like it would be able to do that. Yeah, I mean, I gotta tell you though, I mean, it's it's hard to describe until you've actually if you until you actually purchase one. What I really like also is that the thumb bu- the thumb sticks are clickable. Also, like this has every functionality of an Xbox controller, every one, right? And it. It really, it just feels good. It doesn't feel like awkward, like you're using a phone or everything. I'm, I'm literally just holding it like I would hold a regular controller. And even the, the shape of the, I will say the L2 R2, the triggers are really good. The R1 L1 are a little small. Um, they are a lot bigger on, say, your Xbox controller. So I mean, you could probably see. In, how small this is this is the part that would say is just like a nintendo switch uh yeah ps ps4 oh the website fi- the all, all the one it fits does it really okay so the website says all the ones it fits okay I'm just checking the website right now because i'm curious um compatibility here we go um, so all iPhones, Promise, the X's, the 8's, so this will do the 6S Plus and up, so 6S, 6S Plus, um, 7 Plus, 7, 8 Plus, blah, 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 all the way up, it does not say iPad at all, though. Hmm. Which is, still I'm still gonna, still yeah, I'm still gonna try it, though. <laughs> this is, this is really cool. This I like a lot. This was a good buy, and I will thank my wife later. Um, and this this was fantastic. This was really good. Um, I am putting it back in the box, and then you did a thing. What'd you do, Casey? What did you do? And chat, like I said before, do not forget we are supporting and promoting youtube tonight please click the link and give me a follow we are trying to get to 100 subscribers free to sub on youtube we just want to get to that 100 mark so we can change our url to spider almighty help me get there guys i know i can count on all of these and there you have it guys this was the backbone one um i i love it i really do i really really love it yeah, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I'm a gaming help me comb my hair. New hair. Oh, Casey, send me pictures. I need to see. I want to see. Uh, but I am very good. And I want to thank Beard and Duchess and all of you in the chat for helping me out on my first first thought video. Um, I hope we like the setup. I'll probably tweak this area a little bit, maybe move the camera or whatnot. But I think all aces, as far as I'm concerned, on the first try. So, um I'm sure Beard will critique it later and tell me I suck, and that's fine. So, um, <laughs> it was absolutely fun, but stay tuned, guys. I'm going to take a two second break. We are going to kick it into high gear on the seventh. I don't even think the seven C's. It might be the one C in some uh, Sea of Thieves. One <laughs> it's the one C. We're going to kick it into high gear, playing some Sea of Thieves. I will be right back again. Beard, thank you so much for your help. I really, really appreciate it. And I will be right back. We're going to switch over to the game screen and we're going to get started, guys. Beard, entertain the chat. I will be right back. <laughs> entertain the chat. Hello, <laughs> <You> chat. <heard> me. <laughs> 